since 2008, have flown about 394 animals total, 357 dogs, 28 cats, three goats, one pig, and one bat. <laughs> I'm David Tan, and this is a story of how I fly rescue animals with Joe Beats. I'm originally from Singapore. I was in the Singapore Air Force for 14 years. Came to the US in 1988. I have owned my own plane since 2005. It was about 2008, I read a magazine article about people flying these dogs for charity. The organization is called Pilots of Ports. So I started there and it just took off. When I was working, I would fly maybe during my weeks off. But now that I'm retired, I can fly roughly once a week and play. So long, David. I don't really do the heavy lifting, I just provide the transportation. I think the people who really do the work, the rescue groups who get them out of these shelters, the animals that are in danger of being euthanized, and then arrange for them to go to fosters. Make sure you don't hit the building with the airplane. Yeah. <laughs> you find that a lot of these animals, they're really active and they're really hyper when you first meet them. You put them in the airplane, you tether them, they get very quiet after the engine starts. They'll look around, just fall asleep and wake up when you land at the destination. The interesting thing is you don't get a lot of barkers. I had one howled all the time. <laughs> I'm up in the Madison, Wisconsin area. What I intend to do, the ideal radius is about 250 miles from my home base, which means I go out about an hour and a half. One, um, sorry, that seems to be optimal, not have to fly such a long distance and at least get a reasonable trip done. It's very gratifying. Some of these animals are in you know, pretty bad shape, and then after they get adopted, rescuers send photographs, and it's great. A bat is the only one I never got to see. He arrived in a little, uh, one of those little boxes that you put amphibians and frogs in. It was completely blacked out because they said, oh, he's nocturnal. As you get older, you become more conscious about these things, more empathy maybe for the weak and helpless, like animals. It was to do my part, and this is probably the best way I could do it.